The high notes and harmonies may be heavenly, but the Libra boys are as down to earth as they come. Even when their voices break, some boys and their parents remain within the Libra family to train and chaperone the younger ones. And believe you me, these lads are no angels. <laughs> ben, come and join us. It's so late, you can't eat so late. This is not late for Ben, this is early. No, no, no. What are you talking about? He's early for the next one. Do you think you sound best in like a church environment or in a like, concert? Yeah, or? Echoey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah I think a place with a lot of acoustic is very good. A toilet. <laughs> you yeah. do a lot of concerts in yeah. toilets. <laughs> yeah. What kind of music do you like singing most? The stuff you that Rob all writes. The songs Rob, can that you write another song, please? please. And how do, you, how do you kind of feel when you're singing it? You feel really good. You can't, because all the harmonies, they all fit together, like, perfectly. What do you want to do when you're a man? <laughs> He's going to be a basketball player. What about you? Uh, well, um, it's either a singer or a NASA scientist. Really. <laughs> wow. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> first plan to sing in space. That's what you want to do, to be the first man to sing in space. No, <laughs> what do you make of Libra? It's just so funny. You get to make loads of friends. Um, yeah. Funny? <laughs> it's so funny singing. It's like, no. These really, really old boys don't let you get a word in edgeways, do they? You know, they're always talking over you. Um, are you glad that you've joined then? Yeah. What do you like singing most? Well, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Nearly 40 boys will be at a rehearsal on a Monday night with all the little ones who've done it very little before, right the way through to the 14-year-olds, they will destroy the furniture if there isn't some kind of discipline. I think Rob is a really cool person. Um, yeah, he's, he is one of the boys. You're not bored. You're not bored. I am. He makes jokes with us and he's fun with us. He isn't very strict, but he does come down on a few rules sometimes. Let me hear, please. Sing me the first note. Will be tweet. He will go. One, two, three. Well done. So He's got sure a great sense of humour. Um, he tries to relate to the, each individual when he's either working one-to-one -one or in the group. There are times where he'll be a bit stroppy sometimes, but that's because the boys aren't cooperating. That's amazing. Have we got the heavens of telling? What is all this rubbish in here? One of our tasks is to make the boys feel part of a sort of gang, really, and that they, they, they support each other. So make sure you can get right up to the top note and then right down to the bottom, OK? Ma, 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 ma. The, the older boys are like sort of uncles to the younger ones, really, because they've all been where they were once. When my voice broke, I didn't want to leave. I was only 13 or so at the time, and I still had really good friends in the choir. So I didn't want to, to move away from them. And I'd become really interested in the studio and the recording and that whole side of things. So I kind of got a lot more involved in that. And I started singing lower parts as well. There's no vocals. We need something in there. I mean, do you want to try something out there? Um, maybe some whispers. I think the fact that Libera draws its boys from such a wide kind of variety of backgrounds is amazing. And it really makes you realise that with something like the singing in common, that your background is completely irrelevant. I came from a, a comprehensive school in the South London, and then to the boys who've come from lovely, leafy Surrey, and you think they're just here next to each other singing and having a great time, and I think that social aspect is equally as important. You're still so immersed in this kind of life, you can't really just pull yourself out that fast. So I started to do more in the studio and uh, help out with sessions. You really feel a part of this kind of team and the opportunities, I mean, to work on a record that's number one in the classical charts in uh, different places in the world, I mean, how, how can you turn that down? Here I can generate all kinds of different sounds, uh, some of them based on real instruments, some of them based on modern synthesizers and loops and drums and so forth. Um, some of them will involve a, a full orchestra. So we can call on all those different uh, instrumental textures, really. So it's a wonderful palette of sound to work with. Sometimes the sound might actually be derived from one of the boys' voices, and we would put it onto the keyboard uh, as a sound, so you can actually play it. So this one... 
It's just like a sound you might get on a synthesizer, but of course it's our own sound. We also draw on some classical music so that we would arrange, for instance, the Packerbell Canon, which forms the basis of a piece uh, which we've set to the words uh, of the Sanctus. Um, and that has all sorts of counter melodies going within it, uh, which bring the Liberar uniqueness to it.